All right, friends, welcome back to the channel. Today's quote is by the brilliant Thich Nhat Hanh. If you suffer and make your loved ones suffer, there is nothing that can justify your desire. Thich Nhat Hanh. Title, Stop This Cycle to Find Peace. This quote speaks about the destructive nature of clinging to desires that harm both ourselves and those we care about. Modern Translation If you're unhappy and you're making the people you love unhappy, there's no reason for you to be pursuing what you want. Question What desires are you holding on to that are causing you and your loved ones pain? Explanation Tishnat Han is reminding us that our actions have consequences, not just for ourselves but for others. When we allow our desires to control us, we can end up hurting ourselves and those around us. If you find yourself constantly chasing things that bring you pain, you need to examine why you're doing this. If you're creating negative repercussions for those around you, you need to consider what that impact is and whether it's worth it. Elaboration As the great philosopher Seneca said, every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. Sometimes we must let go of things to make space for something better. Our desires can be a trap. They can lead to dissatisfaction and endless chasing, much like a dog chasing its tail. We need to find a way to detach from our desires and instead focus on the present moment. It's like what Marcus Aurelius said, The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. If we're constantly dwelling on desires that cause us pain, we're setting ourselves up for suffering. It's important to acknowledge the power of our desires and take responsibility for the impact they have on ourselves and others. But this doesn't mean that we shouldn't have desires. It means that we should be mindful of them. We should not let them control us. We should not let them lead us into suffering. Buddhist Spiritual Perspective This quote aligns with the Buddhist teaching of suffering, dukkha. Dukkha isn't about being sad, but about the inherent dissatisfaction of grasping, clinging, and holding on to things, especially desires. Tishnat Han reminds us that when we hold on to things that cause suffering, we perpetuate the cycle of suffering for ourselves and others. The Tao Te Ching also advises us, being content with what you have is true wealth. This reminds us that true happiness doesn't come from material possessions or fulfilling our desires, but from finding peace within ourselves. Encouragement Friend, remember that you have the power to change your relationship with your desires. You can choose to let them go and find peace within yourself. Be kind to yourself and to others. Don't let your desires lead you into suffering. Be present and live with intention. If you got any value out of this message, please give us a like, share and subscribe for more daily wisdom.